See, being wicked, a lot of we see a lot of people have wealth, a lot of people out there. They have wealth, right? And, and they will hold it, but somebody's holding my bank card. Someone's holding my, my checking account. <laughs> the scripture says it. I have an inheritance. You have an inheritance. But we got to start planting. Planting where? It's a good soil because you will reap something great. Because I came here, tough, my tough, life tough, changed tough, because tough, I tough, wanted tough. to give up on church. Yeah. I said I was done with church. I was done with no more. I didn't, I didn't want to be involved in church anymore because I was hurt by church. And when God began to develop me, and because, I, because the apostles here imparted in me, they imparted in something inside of me that, that, that when I, I wanted to give it all up, I was, I was done. I was done. But then I began to see that because the inheritance that, I, that I'm going to receive, what I'm attaining, man, I, I'm, I'm happy right now where I'm at at this moment. Can I be even more happier? Maybe, but I'm happy right now, and I'm satisfied right now because what God is doing, he's doing great and mighty things in this place. The inheritance that were stored up, I'm waiting. Someone said uh, they were, there was a woman supposed to give me a house. I'm waiting for that person. Send me your house. Huh? But that's not what I do, what I do. The scriptures, we read the scriptures, but we don't really take them to heart. We're really what it means. It says that we're leaving an inheritance. What we're doing, we're benefiting when we come to 700 people in this building. We cannot have 700 in this place. Right now, we're already bursting out the seams. But you know what? When your inheritance is where you're going to attach, when we give into God's kingdom, when you take care of another man's vision, God will take care of yours even much more. There's a vision that's been taking place in this house. The vision is when they first started this place, the, the, the inheritance, they, they, they planted. I'll show you later. I got, I, I'm not going to get in my message, but I'll show you later when my message, then I'll show you where how, how don't despise certain things. Your inheritance is coming. Today, I've just seen two people roll up in new cars. Their inheritance, your inheritance is coming. Don't despise. Don't, 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 don't. The enemy has been trying to destroy what God is trying to do. We, but there's a building that we're taking place. We give you tithes and your offering, but we have a building fund. And to invest in this building fund... It's an investment to you. It's an investment to your family. If you have an empty seat next to you, you can look at it and say, that's my family's seat right there. Because it's about a connection that we're connecting. Your inheritance is coming. It's coming. We're getting all the sounds. Don't, don't, we're just, we're, I'm just trying to give you a little time so they can fix everything because God is going to move so powerfully. Somebody's going to get healed today. Your inheritance is coming. You've been waiting to be healed. You've been waiting. You've been going through so many different obstacles and tests and, and trials and tribulations and all this. But I'm telling you here, your inheritance is here because what you're doing, when you do your part, God will do his part. Amen? So a, a good person, how many are good people? We're giving into the kingdom, not giving into to Apostle Jason's pockets and Apostle Sonia's. We're giving into your family for your family to, have, to be right beside you so that you can receive the inheritance because there's, there's more. There's multiplication. There's, I'm telling you, this is endless. Your neighbors will even come to church. Your bosses will come to church. How many need your boss to get saved? Come on. How many, how many need the neighbors to get saved? Come on. Come on. I need everyone to get saved right now. I need all of you to be saved. Because the Bible says when two or three are gathered, he's in the midst. Amen. As we give, we belong to God. There's a few ways to give. 
There's amazingchurchoutlee.org. You can give that way. There's a button you can give. Or you can text uh, 951-326-1127. Or you can go to the Faith Life app. And you can give there. And you can also, for the building fund, you can. there's a section. You go to general and you go to the different options and you can find where to give. And then when there's also envelopes, and be, they should be on the seats right there. There should be envelopes. If you do the cash stain, put your name on it. Make sure you put all your information right correctly so for the end of the year that you can come up. You I mean you can use it on your taxes. Come on. But if you don't need it, don't worry. Don't just put anything. But I'm telling you, this is a good place that God has been just doing. We need everyone's support to help with this new building we're getting. We've had people that are construction workers saying, we'll help you, we'll build, we're going to do this, we're going to do that, I'm in. Shane, can you show one of the pictures that we had for the, for the home, the, the, the Riverside Church over there? Where the stage is, where we built? No, not that's the first one, that's the old. See this building right here? It took, us, it took me almost 30 days to help build this church. We worked, we worked, we labored, we labored. Right? There's a lot of work that took effort here to come here. And so it's going to take a little bit more effort, guys, to get to the next place, the next building. But when you invest, when you begin to tithe, when you put your offering in there, say, this is one for my family. This is for my my mom, this is for my dad. This is for this. This is an inheritance that I'm putting in. But are we being wicked with it? Either one. Some of you are withholding because of the wickedness. We're, we're a deliverance ministry. We'll get you delivered real quick. This is a deliverance house. We'll get you delivered, washed up, cleaned up real quick so we can get back back and forth, right? Amen. Let's pray. Father, we just thank you. Father, I just ask right now that you would have your way. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor and all the praise. In Jesus' name, we all say amen and amen. Come on. I thought they were going to play some songs, but I... Brother mics are no good, but constant, constant. Can you give me some music? Come on, I'm not. We ain't done yet. Oh, it's not working yet. Only hers. Come on, okay. Amy, give me some. Give me some sound. Cause we ain't done yet. I'm telling you, the momentum paints a a a, a, a picture, man. Look at these pictures. Begin to start showing the slide while I'm doing this, Shane. Go through the pictures for me. Start doing the pictures. There we go. Come on. Now I sound better. I sound a lot better. Come on. I don't have to strain my voice. You know, I went to the mountain and I came back down different. I started being sensitive to the spirit even more. I'm a sent one. I'm sent by God. And as we look at the different obstacles, this is where we first started. This is where the, the, the beginning of the church began. Look at Apostle Jason and look at Evangelist Daryl. Look at, look at even, I call him certified, Pastor Sergio right there. I call him certified. There's the pictures. We look at these pictures. We look at these images. Look at Crystal. This is when she first came to the church. This is it. She came when she first came when the church and God started to do something in their lives. This is how it used to be. They used to set up inside their house. From the house to this. To this to the next place. Look at Daryl right there. Evangelist Daryl. Apostle Jason. You know, the church used to be called Church on the Real. When I rode up to that church, I was like, Church on the Real. 
My wife looked up a church and said, for a spirit-filled church, and we found that church. We rode up, I was like, where'd you bring me? Where did you bring me? Well, because I was hurt. How many, how many have been hurt? This is the church that started in back. Look, that Gloria right there. Look at that. Everybody, look at that. Man, that that's Gloria, Minister Gloria there. Some of you are not in this picture, though. Some of us, this is when they were in the women's home, Pastor Diana. So it doesn't matter where you start. That's where I'm going to get to. It doesn't matter where we come into this place. How if we started here, or we started in the other building, or we start here. And what matters is what, what's going to take place next. What's taking place next? Look at that, look at that. They were in a garage. They had such a calling on their lives, our apostles. A, such a hunger. They, they, they begin to open up their garage. They got the washer there. Come on. He got the soundboard. Right there, he went like this. When he was used to preach. When I came to the church, they had a, he was, the soundboard guy went on vacation. And I, I, I seen him going like this while he was preaching. It was just in the mind. And the Lord began to deal with me. The Lord said, you know how to do that stuff, so you better go help. I do a lot of stuff in this church, and I, I don't do it just to take credit for it. I don't do I do it because I love the house of God. I do it because what God has done in my life, I don't deserve it. I don't deserve to have what I have. I don't deserve to walk. <laughs> I should have been dead. Months and months, doctor said I was gonna die. I said, All right, I'm going to heaven now to be absent in the bodies, to be present with the Lord. If I die today, I'm going to heaven. If I'm sick, oh well, I'm still gonna push through, I'm still gonna go forward, I'm still gonna keep going because I know the end result. I'm gonna leave an inheritance. I'm going to leave a blessing. I'm going to leave an impact so you'll know who my name is. If you don't know me, my name is Apostle Manuel Maciel. My name ain't Manny. I reason that my name is Manuel, but I don't use that. It's Manuel because like the book, I'm a book read by all men. I'm like this out, out of church, in church, everywhere, at home. I don't... I preach to my wife. I preach to my kids. I preach to the supermarket. I preach to all my cashiers. I preach everyone. I don't care. Zachariah, go to the church scripture for me. Keep it going. Keep it going. I know. I know. I'm going to take you a little long. Fingers might hurt, but we're gonna pray the anointing of God upon her life that she can play for a second. Give her the zeal, Lord. Give her the zeal. Give her the... Don't let her fingers hurt after this, Lord. Come on. Come on, give me the scripture. It says, For who despises the days of the small things? Who despises... Who dislikes... Not everybody likes what God is doing in our lives sometimes. When you're going through a trial, when you're going through tribulation, we don't like the reason. We don't like that part. I, I used to complain when I would get sick. I was like, God, why am I sick? Why this? Why that? I used to complain to God. God, you're supposed to heal me already. God told me what you go through is not for you anymore. The evidence, I've seen it. I've seen it. I've seen it. I'm functioning different. I'm going somewhere with this. I'm just setting you up because we're, I'm not despising. Uh, I don't discredit what God is going to do. For these things, seven rejoices to see the plunge, the lines in the hands of Zabala. 
I don't know how to say his name. It's all right. But it says they are the eyes of the Lord, which scans to and fro throughout the whole earth. God is doing something. God is doing, I'm, I'm, you, I'm not just saying this, guys. I've been in ministry for 20 years, going on 20 years. What I've learned today, I wish I would have learned back then. But what's going to take me to deposit in you is going to take less. So in six months, you'll have everything I took me 20 years to get. The apostles of this house, Apostle Jason, I honor them. They are a blessing to me. They're my spiritual covering. They're my parents. They love me unconditional. When I act up, they still love me. He said, I'm going to let you preach, but don't rebuke the church. I used to tell people when I preach, make sure you put a bulletproof vest because shots are going to be fired. It's not going to hurt you today. Because where God is going, we've seen, the, we've seen the building where it started. You can turn around and look around you right now. You see how it is. They started out with six leaders. Now they're about 30-something, almost 40-something leaders. You're like, where are they at? We got them over there. We got to get those youth out of that stripper pole ministry. We got to get them out of there. We got to get those kids closer to us. Their church over there is too full. Can I get them more on my mic? Sound like you turn me down. I'll, I'll scream. I'll scream. I don't care. I said yes. Because God said yes. I said yes. I don't despise where I started. I'm not despising this. This this is the beginning, the small beginning. When I came here, bro, I don't despise that. But God is taking me and going to another level, higher, higher and deeper. And we have a momentum. We're all going. You're going. Some of you got to push you. Just a little bit, our hands softly behind you. Some of you, we got you like a little rope. We like a little ducky. Come on. You're like, oh, this church, they got their, their, their stuff is loud. It's too loud. Yes, we have to adjust what we have here right now. But when we get our new building, we're going to adjust everything so it's going to sound even much better. You've seen the soundboard. You've seen the, the, the things that they took. It was like this. It was just like this. They used to... But in the story in the Bible here, it was 80 years that they Babylon. 80 years that they went through stuff like this and then the Lord had to give them a word. Some of you have gotten a word. Some of you, God's given you a word and it hasn't gained a pass. Don't despise it. Don't forget about it. That word will come to pass. It might not be on your timing, but it's God's timing. I want us to stand real quick, real quick before I keep going because I want us to pray. I, I feel we got to shake off this devil. I feel we got to break, break something off. There was a fire going. There was a fire. I'm all right. It's hot. It's hot up here. I pray this morning that God will activate every one of all your senses. I'm going to function in all five gifts today. All five. All apostolics. From an apostle, even the prophet, pastor, Evangelist, 
Because we're going to lie, we lie, we lie. You and your home, you're going to be affected by this. We got people watching from all over Canada. We get people watching from Arizona, North Carolina, South Carolina, Pakistan, Philippines. We global. We are global. We are not just a little church in Lake Elsinore. Some of you came because you were tired and you, were, you felt like, when I came here, I, I needed something different. My appetite was different. I, I had a different diet. I needed more of God. I needed the more of the prophetic. I needed more teaching. I needed more. I needed more. Little a lot of you don't know, I should be busted, locked up, prison cell. But thanks glory to God that, that I don't have those chains anymore. I'm not, I don't have bars anymore. Come on. I am free. Come on, lift your hands up. Some of you have been bound up for too long. Don't worry, I'm just scanning the room. Don't worry. Because there's a prophetic activation going to take place. When I first started, the first thing I said, someone's going to get healed. When I went to camp, there was a man that my hand all of a sudden cramped up and I said, oh, someone's going to get healed. Who is that person? You know that person got healed? Come on, pray right now where you're at. Listen, all I need is you just to start it. All I need is you to get it going. I'm going to release it, and I'm just going to be the tool, the, be the vessel for the glory of God. It ain't me. I don't even qualify. I just qualify in every area. But because of God, it's all him. We are not going home the same. Vision. Come on, begin to pray right now. Release it right now. Release it right now, God. I pray right now through the word that you release it. I pray by the sound of my voice, God. By the sound of the voice, begin to activate. And the, those that are watching, be activated right now. I pray a releasing right now. I pray an activation right now. I pray right now a, a strong, supernatural manifestation releasing in your house. Lift up your hands right there. You're going to get healed today. You're going to see today. Eyes are going to open again. Deaf ears are going to hear again. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for what you're doing, God. Thank you. Thank you for your mercy, God. Thank you for your grace, oh God. Thank you for this day that you've given us. I pray, God, an overflowing of an anointing, God, be released in this house. Yes. Release right now. Heaven's responding. An overflow right now. Oh, God, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you for your precious love, God. We thank you, oh, God. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Come on, give the Lord a good clap offering, amen.
the word's already in me, the word's already in you, but I can stay right there all day. But some of you want to go watch the game, so I'm, I'm giving you time. You know, God has just done so many things here. When he says, don't despise the small beginnings, God. Some of you, don't, don't give up. Don't, it's not time to give up. The Bible says in Galatians 6, 9, go to Galatians 6, 9 real quick. It says, do not grow weary. Just let us not grow weary while doing good. We're doing good right now. And some of you, you say, oh, well, I'm, I, a lot of stuff is taking place in my life. I'm going through this. I'm going through that. Just, but don't despise the scripture earlier, but it doesn't let us grow weary. You can grow weary. How many have been growing weary? How many have been tired? How many, how many are sick and tired of being sick and tired? I'm not sick and tired anymore. I'm not. I, I, I'm not. I'm, 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 I'm so, I'm telling you, today is just such an amazing day because I'm alive today. I'm awo I woke up today. Many, a lot of people right now didn't make it today. People are being buried today. Look at all of a sudden, devil. Doing good. Look at Do not grow weary while doing good. Ooh, my mic went down again. But in due season, that went too high. But in due season, you will reap if you do not lose heart. Something about the heart, guys. The heart can play tricks on you. The heart can play many tricks on you when... Some of you, we say we wear, we wear our hearts on our sleeves. Many of us have been hurt and been through stuff, but when I came, I've been there, I've been there where you were at, but I've been free and set free. I've been sanctified and holy. I've been made right. I've been cleansed, and I, every day I've got to continue doing it. I don't worry about today. I don't worry about tomorrow. I just worry about what, how, how much more I need to be get closer to God. Not today either. Don't grow weary, love it. We're gonna we're gonna make it happen. It's my beautiful wife right there, Apostle Natalie, right there. She should have done run out a long time ago, but thanks to God had us keep her here. Glory to God, thank you. When it got tough, when it got hard, when it got all kinds of when when I started tripping, none of you trip, just me. All of you guys are perfect and you're all saints and you don't do nothing wrong and you're just 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 so great. Just me just jacked up. Just me got all kinds of problems. I got short problems, I got tall problems, I got all kinds of problems. Little leg problems come. I gotta make church exciting for you to you to be attached to this so you to understand it. I'm a related person. I want to relate to you, show you through the gospel because we don't have to start tripping because how many are trippers? Come on, some of you go, all of a sudden, you know, one idea comes and you start tripping on it. Yeah, I said, I said trip. Come on. I wear blue all day. <laughs> I wear brown, my favorite color. Blue, what, what is it, royal blue? I just like the color, guys. 
just came from a set where I came from. <laughs> so I'm sorry. <laughs> but don't just <laughs> listen. Do not grow weary, guys. Do not do not give up. It's not time to give up. It's not time to quit. I've been prophesied so many years, man. Through every ministry I've been in, I've been prophesied over. I'm gonna be rich. I'm gonna be a billionaire. I'm gonna be this. I'm I'm gonna have businesses. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna have a contract. And, and I, man, I'm like, where they at? But then I said, you know what? What am I tripping on? Why am I tripping? I, I, God does not do any of those things. I don't care. As long as I'm in his presence, that's all that matters. I don't care anything now. I don't worry about all those things anymore. I don't focus on those things. I don't set my eyes on those things anymore because I don't want to lose the focus where God is trying to take me. I don't want to lose the vision. I don't want to lose that. My heart will begin to be deceitful. The Bible says the heart is deceitful, and no one knows the heart but God. That means our heart is wicked. You know what the Holy Spirit told me today on the way here? He said, the Holy Spirit says, we, we, I said, the Holy Spirit, I want you to do what you do. He said, I'm not no genie in the bottle. He looked at me like, I'm not going to do that. But I will do this. We think the Holy Spirit is, is, is there to work for us. The Holy Spirit is there to work through us. Well, say, my husband's acting up. Okay, don't worry. He come to church. He'll give up. Don't despise the small beginnings. Don't, 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 don't go, go backwards. But a lot of us go backwards. We're walking backwards. Try to run backwards, some of you. You're going to fall. At least I will, I ain't. I can barely walk forward. That's why I take little steps. And then I don't even pick up my feet. I drag them. I slide. I slide. I'm like, oh, woo, I'm sliding. Then people think I'm moonwalking. Come on. Woo. No, like Michael Jackson. Come on. Woo. Woo smoothing. No, I just slide in my feet because I don't want to trip. Make sure my feet stay on the ground. You know what I mean? I'm a little low, so I, like I want to stay low. I like to make you laugh because it's so, I'm telling you, but because we get so worried about everything now, what's taking place, we begin to start to trip. We forget that everything is good, but we, because everything looks bad, we think it's, we lose, we lose our sight. We lose our faith. We lose what God has said. We forget what the word says. We're too busy worried about every prophecy word that comes out to receive it. And we forget that there's, there's, there's a signature that's on you that you are sealed by God. That God designed you. God purposely made you who you are, the way you are. But we think there's so, so many imperfections in our own self because we're looking in the wrong word, mirror and we're projecting the wrong thing. And we see our only self. We don't see nothing else. How many of you, when you look in the mirror, some of you dodge the mirror? Because you don't want to see yourself. But that's the same thing with the word. The, the word is supposed to be, when you read the word, it's supposed to be a mirror, a reflection, so that you can see it shows you what to be and what not to be. It gives you examples how to be. But we're so worried. Don't stop worrying. Stop tripping. Stop. Do season. Speak it. Start speaking things in the atmosphere now. I speak it now. Speak it to existence. I don't care. I am rich. I am powerful. I am mighty. It's because the one that lives inside of me, he had begun a good work in me. He, I ain't finished yet. This ain't finished product. There's more. I'm not done, but, but because we think we're finished, because I, I came to church, and, and I got saved, I got delivered, and you think that's all, I'm done, I don't need nothing else, I'm cool. It's a daily thing, it's a daily thing, good things come daily, they don't come well, every once in a while, but what happens is because what, what we're reaping, we're reaping, many of us sold so many bad things, 
And because God saved us and tries to, to wipe it away, but there's some still consequences that we have to reap back because of what we did, because of our mistake. It's not because of God. Oh, it's God's fault, and God did it. Well, God ain't doing it yet oh, because of this. Oh, no, I, oh, God doesn't love me, or God doesn't care about me. God loves you so much, that's why you're here today. God loves you so much, that's why you ain't did yet. You still got another chance, another opportunity. God wants to use you, your experience, to witness, to testify, to share that God is good. He is wonderful. He's amazing. Oh, I'm telling you, what God has done. But because we're so worried about everything else and we're not reaping the benefits. How many of you are reaping the benefits? Some of you are going to, somebody's going to reap today. They're going to get healed today. I'm just saying now, I'm going to keep saying it all the way through my message because I just need one of you to believe with me. I just need one of you, one of you that, that needs that healing to believe with me and because, that's, because you're believing it's going to be so. The Bible says, let the Redeemer say so. I've been redeemed, so I'm saying so. I, I'm new. I'm not the old man. I'm not the old character I used to be. I'm not the old influencer. I, I'm not the, even I'm preaching different. Come on. My level of style that I'm going into where God is going and the transformation and the, the recovering. See, I, I would be worried about how, or what people would think about me. I would worry about what people are going to say. I would worry about, and I, need, I don't even need your approval. We think we need everyone's approval just to make it. You don't need no one's approval. You need God's approval. God seals on your life. There's a signature on your life. You are sealed. You are bought by the blood. And you are already a new creation. Behold, all things have passed away and become new in Christ. New in Christ. I ain't the old man. I might sound the same, but I ain't the old man. I'm about to be an old man, but I'm getting wisdom, wiser. I'm telling, I'm just scanning, I'm scanning, I'm telling. The, 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 when the, the doctor told me, like, when I was going, I went blind, the doctor said that it was autofocus disease. I'm like, autofocus disease? I ain't a camera. I'm like, dang, my lenses are dirty or something. Let me clean them real quick. My wife's like, oh, your, your glasses are always dirty. I said, I leave them dirty because I don't want to see certain things. <laughs> I'm telling the truth. Let's shame the devil. But I was, you're so worried about how you see things. or what you. I don't care how I see that. I just care what God sees about me. All I care, I'm not worried about all these other things. I'm painting a picture for you so that you can see because there's a momentum that's taking place that we're not going to stay down here, but we're going higher and higher. It doesn't matter where you started out in this ministry, how you came, how you heard about this place. It's been where were you connecting and how you connect and how you attach yourself. Because I'm telling you, when we're going somewhere, it's going to be a strong power and a strong fist of God, a strong movement of God. There's something taking place. Uh, there's, I'm not bragging about our church, but I will brag about our church. There's not another church like this. They said, you, that's how you have church? Uh, no, that's, what do you mean? You don't have church like this? You don't have church like this where they're all, uh, all on the floor, everybody's throwing, uh, there's all kinds of stuff taking place. You, you don't have church like that? I want that kind of church. I want the real good stuff. I want the good stuff. I want the good word. I want the good. I got an appetite that I'm trying to feed, and I'm hungry for what God is trying to do. I'm not worried about anything else anymore. I'm leaving it behind, and I'm going forward. Body talks about in the next scripture first. What's the next scripture I have gave you? Right there, there, good. It says, For there is no for where there is no vision. For there where there is no vision. I don't know about you, I see vision in this house. How many were here last week? There's vision. When I seen those kids do the purity thing, I was like, dang. And then they they begin to get their own that was 
That was their own stuff they probably put up. That ain't vision. That's the next generation. How many of you done that when you were that age? Hey, I, I'm guilty. I'm the bad one. When I was her age, I was out there robbing, stealing, killing. I ain't doing that no more. I was in the streets at her age. I didn't have no examples. I didn't have that. There's vision in this house. We are not dying. You are not dying. It might seem like you're fainting. It might seem like, oh, it's hard. Yes, it's hard, but don't worry about it because there's vision in this house. There's vision, I'm telling you. That's the picture. That's the picture. You got to see yourself of not who you see yourself. You got to see yourself as who God sees you, who you are. We got to keep something. We got to keep something very important, keeping the law. We're like, why bad things happen to good people? Well, God made a law, and God's not a liar. Why do you go through some of the things? You go, God's made a law, and God not not lie. God said, let his yes be yes, and no's be no. We go through stuff because not just before us. He said we were going to go through stuff. He said even in the book of James, to count it all joy through various trials and tribulations, it was already set up right there for us to show, to count everything all joy when you go through some stuff. When you start tripping. When your husband start tripping. When your wife starts tripping. When your kids start tripping. Come on. When all hell, when your bills start tripping. Come on. When your car note starts tripping. Come on. When your T-Mobile or your whatever service you got starts tripping, trying to add on stuff on your thing, come on. When your internet starts tripping, don't want to work, come on. When everything starts tripping, everything's going to hell. How many of you have everything went to hell before? You ain't never been in my experience where you lose everything when you're making good money and God says quit. Tell you don't work no more. Well, how am I going to eat? I argued with God. How am I going to eat? How am I going to do this? I got him good. He God said, well, you better get on your knees. That's how you're going to get it. <laughs> well, I was on my knees for hours, but he said, it ain't happened yet. He said, well, you ain't prayed enough. You ain't done enough. You ain't give me enough. You only gave me partial. You only gave me because you want the benefits of everything. But are you going to do everything when I, when I don't do nothing? Are you still going to keep going forward when it doesn't seem right? It doesn't seem normal. I got a vision. I'm giving you a purpose. I'm giving you a desire. I have plans for you. See, are you following? Are you fulfilling? Are you doing your part? How many of you are doing your part right now? I'm not here to convict you. I'm not here to cut you. I'm not here. I'm just trying to hear to encourage you so that you will get it, that we understand that we have a purpose. There's a vision that God has given us, but we just got to see it. I was going to bring a rag up here so that, you know, when those, those microfiber, what are they called? Microfiber rags, you know, used to, to clean the soft rags to, to, so you can get that vision so you can I, I, I clear some of your, your views because some of your views are, are not lining with, with God. Because we have the wrong visit, the, the wrong, sorry, vision. We always say sometimes it's the wrong spirit. You got the wrong spirit, my brother. There's vision in this house. This has not died. This vision started a long time ago. This vision in this house and the apostles, they need to be able to go around the world to preach the gospel. And they need us to rise up, to help them, to take them, to lift up their arms. Because there's a vision. Because you we don't know who they're going to affect. We don't know who they're going to. See, apostles have been so discredited this past year. Like people are putting them down. Last Sunday, he came up here, and he straight tore all his business. He straight gave out. He was in a trash can. He talked about his wife, put up here, how where they came from. They put all their businesses out here for us to show you what God can do. That's the vision right there, what God can do, can transform a couple's life. 
and make them successful when society said they were never going to be nothing or never going to amount to nothing. They were always going to fail. They're always going to lose everything. And now, look at they got their kids and they got more kids and they got uh, you, they got me. Man, they're in trouble. They got their hands full just, just with me. I'm, I, I, I'm like the, the mule. I mean, ain't, I ain't moving. Stubborn. No, none of you. Just me. I'm talking about me today because you, you won't admit that you have problems. <laughs> you, you won't admit it. You won't admit it that God is doing something tremendous in this place. The moon, moon, the, the, the picture, this beautiful picture. I love these kind of pictures. The beautiful picture that God has been painting that we're not seeing the results of the painting yet. We're only seeing that the sketch part of it. We can't see the trueness what God is doing. There's vision in this house. And if you don't got no vision, you're dying. Stop saying, what about me? What about God? And then God says, I'll be about you. Once I started doing that, God said, I'm about you. When I started being about my father's business, God said, I'm about you. I'm going to do it for you. I would say, God, well, how come I can't get healed? How come I can't get this? How come I can't get uh, I'm telling you, I, I get taxed all day long. I'm, uh, but I'm trying to do everything I can. I don't quit. Once I get that moment, I go. I'll, I'll wash cars. I'll do tacos. I'll do it. I'll start doing it. I don't care what I will do. As long as I got God, I'm okay. As long as <laughs> I love my wife, but I, I, I love God way more than that. <laughs> she better love God more than she love me. We know that we, we, we got this. They say praying couples stay together. No, no, you better pray your own time. I'll pray my time. We're going to pray. We're going to activate it. I'll pray this time. You pray that time. I don't know when you pray, but I pray all day. You missed out. I got you. But you know what? She doesn't. She got it. She don't miss it. She sees the vision in this, huh? She sees the vision here. She didn't give up on me. She didn't quit on me. She didn't. She didn't say, she could have said, I'm walking out. I'm done. I'm leaving him. I, I, every time, I, since I met him, I struggled. <laughs> I said, the problem was that when you pray to God, you pray to God only for certain specific things. You said you wanted a man of God. You forgot to pray for a guy that was taller. <laughs> you got this. <laughs> Pastor Diana called me little man, little man. <laughs> little man syndromes. <laughs> I stand tall just the way I am. I don't need to step. I stand tall. I'm standing tall right now because I know who God is. I got, I, 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 that's it. That's what God call the spirits. You angels. And you know what to do. <laughs> when demons act up, say, angels, you know what to do. I ain't doing this. I ain't dealing with that. Not today. I'm telling you, when demons start acting up, not today. I ain't dealing with you. You better stop right there. I ain't listening to you. You ain't got no authority in my life. You ain't got nothing. You, you can't stop me. You can't. You, you ain't going to prevent me. I die. I'm going to, to absent body, present the Lord. So, so what? I even got my little boy. I, I'm crazy. I'm so crazy. I got my little boy. says, if I go, I said, Mateo, if I go to the hospital and the doctor says there's nothing they can do, so you, you know what to tell them, right? Pull the plug. <laughs> Pray first, but then pull the plug. <laughs> my seven-year-old boy, I got that boy activated. Come on, pray. He's off the chain, but I got that little boy prophetic, and I'm beginning to minister to him. I don't even, I just do what I do. He does his own. I don't waste time. When it's time they tell us to come to the altar, I bring my little boy with me and bring him to the altar and just tell him, watch me. I shall I be the example because there's a vision that's taking place that he'll catch it. He'll see that when I'm going through something, I go to God. I don't go to nowhere else. I go straight to the source. I teach all my kids that they just act up. Learn for themselves. They old enough. But for me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. Me and my house, we're serving God. You don't want to live in my house and serve God, then get out. 
I'm real. I came from church from the real. That's where I started. I was birthed in the church of the real. I stay real all day, every day. We always keep it real. I'm pastor. Pastor, we, we, we used to, you know what, you see the worship team now, it's awesome. Everything we did CDs. <laughs> Missing tracks, they be singing, and they, they didn't even, they live and singing up there, you know what I mean? I used to tell Courtney, he, he's Millie Vanilli singing there when he got, he like, girl, you know. Thank God they had a vision for a worship team. <laughs> Thank God that the vision is beginning to be fulfilled. That they always, they always want. Now we got we got two piano players. We don't even got room for all the worship team up here. Does that tell you something? That something's gonna change. Something. There's that vision. You can see that just alone. The children's ministry just alone. You can see that. That's the next generation. The youth. All they have 40 youth over there. About 40 kids. Getting ready to transform in here, but we need to get ready so when they come in here, they see that it is real, that they don't go backwards, they don't go the road to the, to the, to the streets, the streets don't suck them in. I'm a preacher, I get sucked all the time. They like, suck me dry, I gotta stay away from people. I gotta cut it off. Stay back real quick, come on. I, I'm in a place that God is doing, I, I gotta cut things off. People, I gotta cut you off, sorry. Family, I got to cut you off. Sorry. No excuses. That's my theme. No hashtag. No excuses. I got every excuse. You know why I, don't, I have that theme? Do you know why I'm so important about what that meaning for hashtag no excuses? Because I have no excuse. Because if I'm not doing this, what else am I going to be doing? Reality, what am I going to do? After going 20 years doing that, what am I going to do? I'm going to go back to selling drugs? I'm an old man going selling drugs. I'm a, what? I'm bumping my head. Come on. I'm too tired to walk to a hotel or to do something to somebody. I'm too tired to do all that. I better walk to my car. I'm out of breath. This little lady's got to walk with more feet. Some of you got, you know, big old feet, tall, and long legs. They, they take one step. I, they take one step. I got to take six just to catch up. I'm showing a picture. I'm painting a picture. There's a momentum. There's vision. So some of you, I want to get like Alex. Don't you get on his back? Come on, take me, Alex. You, you walk faster. Come on. I'll go. Come here. I like when he's around me. Just look up to him. Talk to him. Hey, how you doing? You just stand right here. We look good. I mean, we look like a team. Ain't hey, nobody going to mess with me because you here. I don't need to do nothing no more. I don't need to fight. I don't need to do nothing. I just get, the way I fight, I just drop down on my knees and pray God. No, no, no longer I'm shooting bullets. I'm shooting the word. I'm releasing the word. Pow. Pow. I tell him, I, I'm telling what God is doing. Do not grow weary while doing good because in due season you will reap a harvest. I'm telling you because of what God is trying to do. I'm telling you, there's a perfecter. There is a, a, a wonderful God that we serve that we don't understand. When God gave them this word in Zechariah, when they gave them this word, it was prophesied. It was a word that was given a long time ago, and it came to pass. After 80 years, they were going through this word, and God gave them this word. When the, the Solomon, when the, the, the temple was built and all this stuff, it began to get ruined. See, they, this scripture what it meant when it was to start a new beginning. We're, there's a new beginning here right now. There's something new that's in this place. It's not like everywhere else. It's not happening like that. Anywhere else, there's people, it's not taking place. Some of you, I'm telling you, you've been 30, 40 years, you've been going through something, and all of a sudden you come here, and all of a sudden it just begins to fall off. We're like, man, go to the next one. Next scripture for me. Here. It says, or do you not know that you are the body? Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have from God, and you are not your own. I don't belong to myself anymore. Thank God. 
He got on. He's like, I got some now. I got some. I'm on my side. No weapon formed me shall, shall prosper. I got to know. I'm, I'm an overcomer. I'm more than a conqueror. Come on. I achieve more things now because the way I walk and the way I talk now, I, I, I'm walking with the things of God. I said, God, we're walking together. Come on. I ain't going if you ain't going, God. I ain't moving if you ain't moving, God. I'll, st I'll stay right here, God, but you, you said don't stay here. You said keep going. But I ain't going unless you go. Unless you send those angels. I'm not right. Okay. All right, God, if you said it, I'll send the angels. Angels, go forth. Go before me. Do what you do. And then I'll follow right behind it. Because I know as I walk through the valley of death, I shall feel no evil. As I walk, I, I, I can walk with confidence. I can walk with boldness. I can walk with authority. I know every word that soles of my feet, I possess the land. I know where I'm going. I'm, I'm tell, I know where i got to step. I'm stepping on this devil's head. I'm tired of the devil telling me, you're not going to mount to nothing. You're never going to make it. You're not going to do nothing. You're going to fail you, all this stuff like that. God told me I, I'm champion. He said, I'm champion. You're champion. You won. I won. I'm winning. You're winning. It's already done. But what happens when the devil tells us something, we don't tell the devil nothing back. Devil, oh, you, you, oh, that's it. No, that's it. You can't. Nothing's going to happen. You're just going to die. Well, all right. I'm dying. I'm going to heaven. Thank you. Thank you. I got to go to heaven? You just blessed me. <laughs> thank you, devil, for blessing me today. You just blessed me. I'm going to go to heaven. I thank you. Oh, glory to God. But when we're in that process, it's hard to go without the valley. When we're in that process, it's, it's really hard to see. It's very, very hard, but I'm not, it's not, this is, this body is not mine anymore. But I house something, I have something in me. You house something inside you that's greater. The Bible says in 1 John 4, 4, greater is he that's in you than he of this world. The God that lives inside of you created everything in this world. Everything you see, everything that is existence is because of him. And he lives inside of you. You do not see that. You do not understand that. You can't take it. You can't grasp it. It blows my mind. So we got not tell days. Back in the days we used to say about people being tweakers. We got tweaker Christian tweakers here. Up early in the morning. Don't even sleep. Praying. We got so many things we don't look at when we were little kids. God chose me when I was a baby. My mom didn't even know she was pregnant with me. So one day she, had, she got sick, she went to the hospital, and they found out, oh, you, you pregnant. She didn't want me this way. She didn't choose me this way. God chose me. God told me I didn't choose you. I didn't grow up with parents, so you know what I mean? I know my mom, but I didn't grow up with my parents. I didn't grow up with them. Hope I didn't answer that. I didn't grow up with them. I look at myself when I was young age out in the street, early in the streets, early young age, running around the streets like nothing. Like I, it was not it was a thing to do. I look at my seven year old boy, like, what the heck you you ain't going. I'll be gone for three or four days and nobody knew I was gone. Didn't feel like I was a part of anything. The streets sucked me in quickly. And I went because that's with it, that's all I had. That's all I knew. That's all I went. And I went straight for that. I went and that's all I thought I was gonna ever be. That's all I was gonna be. That I either gonna be dead or I was gonna be in prison. That's all I thought. That was my lifestyle. It was a setup. I thought that was a setup. That was just the way it was supposed to be. It is what it is. It, you know that you live by the sword. You die by the sword. You do all that stuff. But I'm telling you that that's a lie from the foot of hell. Because what God says, I belong to you. Belong to me. You don't belong to them. I even went to a, so far that I want to find out where I came from because I look Asian. I want to find out I was Asian. It's just I just got slanted eyes. No, they say I'm Mexican. I'm straight, white, straight Mexican. But I said, God says, that's not you. That's, that's, not what you're, that's what your family came from. That's not where you come from. You have a bloodline that's more powerful than anything. You have a bloodline. You come from somewhere else. My family may have came from Durango, Mexico, all that other part of They might have came from there. He said, you don't come from there. I'm a U.S. citizen. I'm born here. I'm a seven generation. I mean, four generation here from there. I tell people, that's why I, I don't use my, I don't, Manuel. They don't call me Manuel. 
The reason why I don't do that, I don't speak Spanish, because my aunt died of cancer and I cry because when I was in the street, she was the only one that took care of me. When she died of cancer, I hated everything, everything, every sight, anything had to do with Spanish, anything part of it. I didn't want to attach myself to any of those things. And that's how we do it today. We don't want to attach ourselves to the old things, the old three people. We don't want to do that stuff, but we gotta, we gotta also stay, remain open because we think we're hard in our hearts, but we're not hard in our hearts. Our heart is just broken and we just don't know how to pick up the pieces. And we're tired of picking the pieces because all the pieces are always on the floor. We bleed out all the time. <laughs> that's what it is. We, we, we're picking up the pieces, and we're tired of picking the pieces, but you're, you're picking the wrong pieces because those pieces were fell out for a reason. God detached those things for a reason off your life so that he can bring new things to you. But we want to pick up the pieces because we think we belong to the world. We don't, I don't belong to this world. I'm only here for a season. I hope it's only that long. I don't want to live that until 90. <laughs> I'll be real. I don't want to live until 90. Huh. That's my wife. I tell her all the time. She said, you crazy. Stop talking crazy. I said, yeah, you crazy. You marry, you marry, you marry this crazy man. Your fault. It ain't my fault. God had to blind her. <laughs> she got the burnt offering. <laughs> I got the blessing. <laughs> but she got the good part of it. She didn't get my past. She didn't get who I used to be. She got the new man of God. She got something different. She got something new, something wicked, something new, new. Every day, every time we come to church, we're getting something new. You're going home with something new, a new peace in your life, new vision in your life, a new purpose in your life, a new destiny in your life, a new, I'm, I'm telling you, there's so many things. But we got to start reacti activating this stuff, guys. We got to start activating this because we don't activate it. We're going to just shut down and we're going to be going back and doing the same thing that we were doing and not getting any results. That's sin. Self-infliction nonsense. Doing the same thing over and over and no, no different things changing. That's insanity. I'm, I'm, that's crazy. That's the true definition of crazy. Not your wife next to you. That's not crazy. Not your husband next to you. That's not crazy. This is all day long trying to amp out there give you something. Every day, you, you, you miss something. He's on, if he ain't not doing what he's doing, he's, he's on, online. Guarantee you. Guarantee you. You think you go to college, just stay with him. You, he's always dropping nuggets. The only reason why I stay around him so much because he's dropping nuggets all day long. I'm picking them up. He's just pouring them out, and people don't even realize it. And I'm just, I pick it up right now. I just pick it up. This one's for me. <laughs> They're like, oh, yeah, I, he said he don't like armor bears. Yeah, he don't like armor bears, but I'm going to do what I do. I'm going to protect them. And I don't do it because of the honor. I protect him because of the man of God. And I believe in the man of God. I believe in this vision. I believe that God is doing something great. And this vision is not dead. It's not done. It's not over. It's not quit. I'm telling you what God is doing. Even the Israelites had jacked up buildings. Come on. The Israelites in, in, in uh, Exodus 14, 15, and 16. Even them they tripped when they were crossing over. So many we're crossing over, over and over, but we think it's better back in Egypt, back where, where we were slaves. We're not slaves anymore. We're not slaves. We're not bounded to the, the things of the world. We're not bounded to what the world says, with everything that the world is saying. We're not bound by that. We're not lulled by that. We, that's not my law. That's not my, my religion. That's my, my belief. That's not what I stand by. That's not what I follow. I follow Christ. I'm going into another area and another dimension. I'm going to another room. God said you get out of that one room. How many of you got a house or an apartment? You live somewhere. And that's not, you don't just stay in that one room, right? You have access. You go to the kitchen. How many of you? Come in. You even go to the throne room. Come on. You got rooms all over your house. You go to every room. You have authority to go over. You even go to your kid's room. 
You have authority over your house. You have authority over God's house. You have authority, but you don't know how to use it or you don't know where, where, how to use it or how to operate. That's why it's here. Right here is training you, equipping you, getting ready so you know how to be a man. You know how to be a leader. You know how to be a woman of God. You know how to be a powerful. See, the influence that we have, we have our own lives, what our parents did, our, how our parents were, how we were brought up. We only know how our own past is brought up. That's why I love how the youth are inspired by being pure because they, they don't not turn to expire by our experiences. You know how we do it, man. Tell those women we love them and you don't even love them. Because you're trying to get something. Let me take a drink because, you know, I'm getting, getting to get a little dry over here. I'm, a, I'm, I'm just going to go into that. To me. Apostle's been crying. Because he loves you so much, he's been crying. I told him, go have fun. Ministry is your life. That's who you are. There's nothing you can change it. That's who you are. Do you, do you. But enjoy yourself while you're ministering. And, and it says to tell the children of Israel to go for, forward. Get up and move, guys. He was telling them, get up and move. We're moving. But lift up your rod. And stretch out your hands over the sea. See, Apostle's over there on the other side. He's in another country and over the sea. You see his pictures, and he's praying over us right now, over the sea. It says, and the children of Israel shall go on dry ground through the midst of the sea. Got to separate. Because uh, you start seeing things, and you just start, you, you, it influences you. Last Sunday, me and my wife went to go stop to get something to eat after church. There was, uh, and it was something that I ate when I was in the streets when I was, because I had to sell drugs to eat, you know, even to have clothes. And I, that's the reason why I ended up getting selling drugs, just to have food. Because, and I, I ordered a chili cheese fries, because back in the days, chili cheese fries, you get a big old flat, fat, fat plate like that. So that was my leftovers. That was my either going to be my dinner or my breakfast for the, for the next morning. So I ordered me a little one, and then they forgot to give me a fork. <laughs> How are they going to do that? So, but I took it home, and I got home, and I drove home, and I began to eat the, the because I paid for it. I'm going to eat it. I ain't got a small one. I ain't get no big one. I got a small one, and I got to eat it and the taste, and all of a sudden, I got a vision eating it. It brought me back to when I was a little kid, when I was going through stuff that I was going through, when I was sacrificed, when I had to suffer, when I had no one, when I was all alone at eight years old in the streets, guys. From 10, 12, 12, to all the way till I was 18 years old. I had nowhere to live. I had nowhere to stay. I was out there lost. And no one really cared. I had a family, but you, we, we did our own thing. And I had to separate myself because I was always different. I'm, I'm different. I'm not like none of nobody else. I'm not like any other apostle. I am different. And I, I had to realize that I'm different. I'm not like everyone. Not, I am not the same. And I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm unusual. Everybody thinks I'm mad all the time. No, that's just my face. Hacker right there. That's my brother right there. He's just, man, he, he, that guy, God, powerful, powerful man of God. Pastor Jonathan, powerful man of God. There's powerful men of God in this place. Deacons are powerful deacons in this place. They're only deacons for a season and to, so they're, they're, they're just going to another level. They just don't stay deacons. We don't, we don't just stay at, at one level in this place. We don't just stay, oh, that's a, who, one title. That's all you got. No, we put function in all five gifts. I'm going to function in all five gifts today. Right? So you're going to see it, the prophetic word. God has given a prophetic word to this church. To Apostle Jason, he's given a prophetic word to Apostle Jason. God, God's going to receive it. God's going to move something in March. God's moving something. We need to be supporters back up or we need to back them up he's been targeted he's been been been, been put down he's been all persecuted he's been tried he's been all these things and we just need to stand and pray for him spiritual warfare they're going on their family their children we need to pray for their children because their children are sacrificing some of you are sacrificing with them helping them 
Some of you have been doing it. That's good. Let's keep doing it. Let's don't stop. Because there's going to be a, such a movement of God. They're going to need us to be able to pour in so that they can get more. They're looking for vessels to pour in. There's a picture that's been painted. And there's going to be an outcome. And you're going to be able to see it so clearly. These signs will follow those who believe. Do you believe? That's all I'm asking you this question. Do you believe? Do you believe? I believe. I believe. I believe that everything is possible. Without Christ, I'm nothing. I believe all things are through Christ who strength. We got to start stop attaching ourselves to, to this or that. You ain't like your mama. You ain't like your daddy. You ain't. The reason why it, does, it don't take place because I, 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 I postpone it. <laughs> but the season that I'm in, I'm not postponing anything anymore. If God said to do it, I'm going to do it. If God said, even if he, yeah, I'm going to go with the intention that I know that God is doing it anyways. I'm going anyways. My family's coming. I don't care. I don't care. I'm not, I'm, my household's going to be saved. I don't care anymore. I might sound arrogant. I might sound, uh, oh, he, oh, he. No, I, I'm telling you, I'm keeping it real. I don't care. I care what God says. If it wasn't for God, I wouldn't be here today. If it wasn't for God. Close your eyes just for a second. There's so many of you that probably need prayer. Yes, Lord. Come on, I got more room on this side, more room. There's more room over here. Listen to me. I'm not going to sit there and keep telling you, no, you miss it out. You, you, there's, there's more many waves of God, but I'm not waiting for the next one. I'm going right now. I'm receiving it right now. I'm doing it now, now. And the, and then nobody responded, but you know that person that, that needed to get that? healing was me. Oh, I'll pray. Let me pray for him. Hold on, hold on right there, okay? But the, the person that needs to get a healing was me, and I was so stubborn. I went there because I wanted God to move. But I didn't go and respond to God because I was being stubborn, thick-headed. And this is a childlike faith that God is trying to show us. Lift your hands up. Put your hands like that. Both of them. Yeah, I'm going to pray for you, okay? Can I put my hands on your head? Look at the presence of God is so moving him. At five years old. This is the season that we're in. That five-year-olds are going to be prophetically, they're going to be empowered. Five years old, they're going to be so effective that they're going to transform their community, their schools, everything, and their surroundings. They're going to change their households from the top of his head. Let the oil run down. I pray everything that is still right now in this man's life. Protect him. Fire be loosened.
we're going to see the next move of God, guys. And it's going to start with our young. If us older people don't get it, the kids are going to get it. But I'm telling you right now, I ain't going to miss it. I'm going to get everything I can because I want to be with them. I want to be like Caleb. There's a lot of Joshua's are rising up, and Caleb's need to be around. You, come here. Come here. Jared's. No, you. Come over here. Come over here. What's your name? Raquel. Raquel. She's going to experience a different kind of move of God, Jared. You've been hungry, but it just, 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 just does not seem like it's just, it's going to be different. It, it's not going to be unusual. It's going to be like unusual. You're just going to start to picture things are just going to come to you. The th main thing I tell you is stay plugged here. Stay plugged. It's going to help you. Rejection is going to, everything is going to fall off of you. The old is going to fall off you. Jesus, right now. From Kitarabosata, loosen it right now. Kitarabosata. Put, put your hand on her, on her, on her stomach. Fire before. Fire, fire burn down right now. Sorry, I'm just, I'm just scanning. I'm just scanning, letting God, let God speak, let God speak. I got to be sensitive to the spirit. I just got to go with the spirit is saying. God's going to feed your appetite. You become hungry, God's going to feed you. The oil that comes from this house, I'm telling you, the oil is not a regular oil. There it is. Everything that's attached to you will be detached right now. Now. Not today. You are not going to do anything to her. Cease right now. Separate now. Off of her. Off. Right now, stop. You are not going to hurt her. Rage come out of her now. Now. Angels right now. Holy Spirit right now. Freedom. 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 It's going to seize her. Don't worry about her. Don't worry about her. Let it leave. Let, let her. It ain't going to hurt her anymore.
Because the activating started when she walked up to this altar. The demon was trying to test it. He could test me all day because it ain't me. He could test me all day. It ain't me. The God that I serve does it all. What's your name? Uh, Sergio. Sergio. All right. I like that name. I got a little buddy. His name is Sergio. He's over there. You ready, Sergio? Yeah. Transformation today, Sergio. You're going to see different now. Peripheral vision. You're going to get visions. You're going to get visions now. You know, you got to wear glasses to see 2020, but the way the vision that you're going to see, you're going to see more clear in the spirit. We activate it right now from his head down right now. Activated, activated. Signs and wonders shall follow those that believe right now in the name. Lift your hands up, lift your hands up. You lift your hands up, Sergio, right there. Detach it right now. New things now. New things. Let them begin to see in the spirit right now. Supernatural. Let nothing cloud his ears you no know more. But let them see inside. Let them begin to focus. Focus. Jesus now from his head down his feet. You in the green. Come over here. Bring her over here. You've been here a couple of times, huh? Yeah. My own. And because what she felt and she started, when I would see things, I would share with her and she would share back to me and it just began to fall and the oil ran and we became stronger and stronger and it's being released right now. What's your name? Desiree, right? Desiree. Come over here, Desiree. Come on, sing it, sing it, sing it. That deliverance thing. There's a sound, a sound. You know, rejection. When we get hurt by churches, the rejections. But because you're a mother, it hurts a lot more when you're a mother. I'm not talking about your kids. I'm talking about your spiritual kids that you attach to. Because but God's going to fill you with new oil. So when you pour into them, so when you begin to pour in them now, when you connect to this place, you connect it to a new oil. You connect it to new wine. Come on, something happened to my mic. Come on, who's fixing it? Fix it. The sound of deliverance. You gotta lower me down.
but you're not going to carry the burden. You don't have to carry the burden. We got you. We got you. We got you. Apostle Jason got you. Apostle Sonia got you. And when they got you, you got me. And then you got all of us. Amen. From the head right now. Fire come down. I pray the love of a father that he would begin to experience. Come on, you're going home drunk. You're going home. This is, you, you, this is drunk. You're going to go home drunk, dizzy, dizzy, done. drunk, drunk in the spirit. Drunk, drunk. Fire. Holy Ghost. All right, evangelist Deanna. There's a sound of deliverance. No, again, no, no, she needs that chair. She needs a chair. She got a baby. Get her the chair. Get her the chair. You started out with this church, and you've been in this church for a very long time. Stop despising the things of it. All the work and labor you have done is going to reflect your flame. It's going to start to reflect it. You're going to start to see it. You're going to start to project it. It's going to be so amazing. You don't have to worry about your husband. You don't have to worry about your child. You just got to stay put and let God do what he's going to do. Somebody take that gimbal away from that man. Come here, Shane. This is her husband, if you don't know. He helps a lot here. People don't know. He's in the shadows. He don't talk. He don't say nothing. You talk to him on the phone, he's like, I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm thinking I'm talking to a computer sometimes because he don't talk right. Yeah. Are you still there, Shane? Are you, you there? You're there. You good? You, we, we good? Oh, all right. I got you. I got you. Stuff's going to start to transpire in your lives. But one thing you guys are going to have to learn that when things are not going to like, God's going to reveal things that you're not going to like, but the way you have to do it and to proceed, you've got to start praying that it gets better. It's going to get better. What you, Shane has showed me so much in the last couple of weeks that I've not seen this man. And I'm like, whoo, who's this guy? Sometimes I get confused who he is. But you, they got you. Your apostles got you, man. It might seem like they're hardies, but they got you. That's when they do when they're kids. They got to correct their kids. They got you because they love you. But you got to, you know, I don't need to tell you. It ain't like, it ain't like your family. This, this is a different kind of family. You've been part of this family from almost day one. Nobody's replacing you. It's called sabbatical for a reason. You're sitting, just sitting. No one's going to replace you because when you're ready to come back, you're going to be in full force and everything you've done is going to keep going. Everything you produced, everything you planted is still growing. Know that. Don't let that devil lie to you no more. Baby's going to be healthy. We're going to pray. If anything comes, we're going to pray. We're going to pray. We're going to pray. We're going to believe because we have the power and it's going to be releasing over your head from the head. From the head. We're loosening it right now. I pray right now. Supernatural things will come. He's prophetic, but he just hasn't tapped in it. Oh, one more little kid. Come on. Let me get her. Let me get her. The one then I... I want to get my favorite. He's at there. Right there's my favorite right there. He's my favorite. If I got a favorite in the church, he's my favorite. I call him Rico Suave. He dresses so clean. I like the way he dresses. He may be look bad sometimes. Come on, he dressed clean. 
I call him Rico Suave. You hear me calling Rico Suave? It's just because he dressed, not because of the mat, because just the way he dressed. He's just a suavecito. Ooh, look at him. Look at him. Come on, we'll pray over this little father right now, or in the name of Jesus. We got this generation, guys. We got to protect this generation. I ain't seen this. I've been in ministry for many years, 20 years, and I ain't seen that as much kids coming to the altars I've been seeing lately. And because of what we're doing, it's here because it's flowing, and it's going to overflow. It's going to overflow into our school. Come on. Lift your hands up. Lift your hands up. Come on. Dang, I better hurry up. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Took too long. I got one more. I'm going to get one more. Is that okay? I actually got an appointment right after this. I got to head home. <laughs> well, I couldn't deny what the Spirit was doing. I couldn't deny it. Because if I deny Christ, he'll deny me. Lift your hands up, Anthony. The three reasons why I like you, because... First, your name is Anthony. My middle name is Anthony. My kids' names are Anthony, 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 Anthony. We just like that name because it's my grandfather. But I always like the way you dress, and I always like the way you look. And he always comes to tell me hi. He never says I'm mean. He always says, how you doing, Father? He's not giving you a hug. He mounts my heart every time he does that. So you guys keep pushing on him to come hug me. So if you want me to be nicer, he, he, he's, a, he's a huge weapon right here. Him and Mateo, they go always mock me. But there's a prophetic word in you. There's a roaring lion in you. He's a visionary. He sees things. He's already, he gets dreams. He's hungers. We cover you. We cover you. You got a daddy, but we still cover you, okay? We still cover you. You got more coverage. I pray right now, loosen over his head right now. But what God is going to do in this next season, gentlemen and ladies and young men and women in this place. Ooh, it's going to be a total different change. Be ready, guys. The picture you're going to see is going to be even much clearer to you, but we're going to be able to see it a lot better. I'm hot today, man. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> but let's pray. I, somebody's going to come take over the mic for me. I don't know who's doing offering, ushers, whatever. We already did offering. I'm mean, <laughs> just off. I'm tired. Let's go. Come on. All right, Deacon. Hallelujah. Did you guys enjoy today's service? Amen. You guys feel the anointing? Amen. Amen. So before you guys go, I know we've been here a while, but I just want to give you the quick announcements. Um, don't forget Tuesday, Bible study is here at 7 p.m. Wednesday is the Women's Bible Study. Do not forget, that's at 7 p.m. via Zoom. If you, you need any of the information, see one of the leaders. We'll go ahead and get you connected. Or if you're on Faith Life, um, go ahead and go on there. Um, also, don't forget that um, this Friday is our uh, Fusion Friday prayer. Um, don't forget, that's intercession. That's at 12 p.m. via Zoom. And this coming Saturday is evangelism teaching. Don't don't miss out because it's I mean it's a it's a lot of good teachings okay because all the evangelists will come teach you you know there's we we all come at different ways right we're all called to be evangelists we're all called to be invited to you know invite people in because you know they said 700 right how are we gonna get the 700 with our mouths closed right amen amen this is something new this is kids amazing kingdom uh, zoom this is gonna be for the um, for the children's ministry. Um, the, it starts on February 23rd. Um, if you need more information, go and see Pastor Diana or the children's director, um, which is Denise, or any of the children's ministry managers. But um, that is it. Um, let me go and pray you guys out. 
Father God, we just thank you for the anointing that you that you have rested upon this place, God. The 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 nuggets that we have received, God, and the and the flourishing and the increasing in the kingdom we are gonna do, God. That we will take this, oh God, and we will let it uh, minister to us through throughout the week, God. That we will not lack, oh God, but we will go fulfilled. We will fulfill your will and your kingdom, God. So we glorify you. We thank you, oh God. We praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, if you are scheduled for deliverance, go ahead and wait in here. The deliverance ministers will come and get you guys. <laughs>